what is going on guys and welcome back for another green hell video and today we are doing the final challenge the blacksmith i can't believe it's the final challenge already we've, we've gone through these pretty quick really haven't they so i think this one's going to be an all right one for us to do i've got a few ideas where to get some of the resources from for this one so we should be okay for this fingers crossed but let's get it started well, that's quite nice it's put us right into a cave as well Seems like none of it has got any ore in. Oh, that like one has. Well, there we go, we've got one. So what I'm going to do, instead of sticking around here, I'm going to uh, mine that one bit of ore, take the ore with us, anything that we need around here, and then I'm going to um, make our way back towards the very starting point on story mode, because that's a nice little safe point away from any tribes and everything. And then we can run across the bridge, get some ore. I think there's quite a lot of mines around the areas, well, around that region. So I'm going to try and find as much as we can on the way down there, though. Um, the last thing I want to do is get everything done and then we just run out to try and find some ore and get killed by a tribe. So let's make sure we've got somewhere very good and safe starting location before we get too far into it. It makes sense after all, doesn't it? Let's be honest. It's a real shame as well, these iron nodes are empty at the moment. Oh, where did you appear from? You was not there earlier, sneaky bugger. Does that? It's got our first bit of iron anyway. Let's start our little journey. Checking all the mines and everything we can. Running around the side, we need to go towards the boat jetty, and also we need to make our way towards the drug camp as well because they have a lot of tins around there, don't they? So we need to try and gather as much as we can whilst we're going around. Keep an eye out for these orange plants because these are really good. If you're thirsty or anything, it's great for you. Roll, oh, jump back. <laughs> I'm not going that way. Oh, oh my god, there's a snake there as well. These snakes are bloody everywhere at the moment. What is going on? And there's a man here as well. They sometimes have things in this one, so let's go around and check. Now I've got a couple of birds here, which is what we need for the feathers to make some arrows. Just throw a stone at these scorpions, kill them that way, it's a lot easier. Where is that? Oh, there it is. Bloody hell. Let's check around in here. Nope, empty. Empty, empty and empty. Okay, I thought this challenge was going to be quite easy to be honest with you. But it seems like the odds are against us. There's no metal nodes what I've got anything in. So that's not good. Okay, I'm going to speed it up around there. I'm going, as we carry on towards west, I believe. Yep, so carry on towards west, towards the coast. There's a turtle that spawns around there. We've got to get a turtle shell so we can make a bowl from the turtle shell. And then keep following it round until we get towards the jetty. Come up. If you go far west, there's like a little island. There's a little camp up there inside the cave. Now, you, there's a couple of cans here, which is good. But it seems like all the iron, which is inside, is, uh, is not spawned in just yet. So we've got no iron off the walls. But we have got some tins, so that can make up for it a little bit, I suppose. And there should be a tribal... Oh, God, that was a really bad miss, that wasn't it? What the hell? Is that, that's that got to be glitched. Bloody hell, that was a little bit weird, wasn't it? It's, what's going on in this cave? What is going on in this cave? Uh, 
everything's all missing. <laughs> That's really weird. I'm trying I'll go use it. I'm gonna eat the meat. Have some dinner later, thanks to the snake. And yeah, outside, as I was saying, there's a tribal boat as well. Hopefully, there's not a tribe sitting in the little camp. So, which way we're going this way, aren't we? There's no metal ore in here, but there is a tin in here for you if you want that, guys. And then if you go this way, you might recognise where I am now from this. There's normally a bowl there it is. These stones always go on that section, don't they? And we've got a couple of coconuts as well, so we've got some drinking water at least. Right. And let's carry on. Which direction we're going? Carry on south. Don't fall off there. Bloody hell. Let's carry on south. And then swim across the water. Be careful, there are piranhas in this part of the water. If you do come down here, guys, there is piranhas over that section, but you can get over this bit okay. You hopes. Now, let's see if the game is on our side or not. If there's any metal tins here. We've got charcoal, though. This is going to be good for our mud mixer. So at least we get some charcoal. Oh, painkillers. Nice. That's the first time on a challenge I've actually seen painkillers. Believe it or not. Any recipes we need to learn? Nope. Okay. Looks like there's no metal tins lying around. So let's make our way towards the drug factory. Fingers crossed there's going to be something that's going to be helpful for us here. And quite a lot of arrows on the side, so they always come in handy, I suppose. And we've got our bowl. We've got a recipe here. And now what is in here for us? Oh, more arrows? Cool. Oh, more painkillers. Nice. Never have too many painkillers on this game. Alright, the other problem is, I can't see any metal tins. No food tins anywhere, is there? You've yeah, got one, two, got some orange juice which come in handy, we've got another one there. Right, okay, so it is actually worth coming here then, isn't it? I think that's all of it really. What time are we on actually? 18.30. Right. Okay, let's get a little bit of rest. And then we're going to make our way towards the starting point. It's not really too far from here. Finally made it. <laughs> Finally made it. It's only took a not didn't take too long. The coordinates are for us guys. It's 45 west, 31 south if you want to come here. Good thing about this is a complete safe haven for you. So you can do whatever you want. It's perfect for the first time base building area as well. Because the tribes guys can't cross these little bridges. So you've got one bridge there. And you've got one over that side. I believe that's a little bit more newer. So I don't remember that one being there. And there is a couple of caves over on that side as well you can go into. <coughs> if you come down at the bottom, there's a nice little area you can build as well. So it's all nice and uh, secure for you. So it's quite a good little starting bit. And up over here at the top, there is a little cave. Which hopefully we'll have a little bit of ore in here for us. So if you want, you can actually stay in here as well. You've got an obsidian stone there. No ore at the moment, which is not surprising really on this challenge. But it's somewhere you can light a fire or you can sleep in this little section if you want as well, if you want a cave. So to get the recipe for the mud mixer, all you need to do is take some mud and it will automatically give you the recipe. And for the campfire ash, because we haven't got anything on us at the moment, instead of burning through the fires 
to get campfire ash. The charcoal we got earlier. So you just harvest and that will give you some campfire ash. Let the rain do the work and that will make us some mud bricks. Don't forget guys, well, before you do eat on this challenge you'll be getting quite dirty because you are making a lot of mud bricks. So always wash yourself before you eat the food. And that is our first one. So we need to make another one next to it and we'll go use that one for the tins. Well, that's quite easy to make really, aren't they? And back up we go. Finally, after a long, long wait, our charcoal pile is ready. God, I'd recommend probably building this first. <laughs> if I'd done this again. Uh, okay, so let's take that into there. And let's get some more dry bits now, don't we? Some more charcoal. Couple of five for now. Just to get at this one good burn as well. I've got about two days left on the challenge, so I'll do it in game time. Fingers crossed we can do it. Let's get the moulds as well, what we need. You right click one of these mud bricks and you just harvest. And that will create some empty moulds. So you get three per brick. And what we're going to do is craft that, that, and our stone blade. And that will make us a blade mould. As soon as this next one is ready, I'll show you how to make the armour. And then we're, we're on the way then. To make our armor mold, it's quite easy guys, is one empty mold, one piece of iron, and you get a stick. And that creates your armor mold then. You need to do that every single time and then you just add it into the furnace on the bottom section and then it'll pop out once it's done. Once we've got our baked mold, all we need to do is just give it a quick harvest. That should give us the metal blade cast. And then you just need to make it as a normal spear as you normally would. To craft the armor itself, guys, it's pretty simple. Is right click your banana leaf, two little bits of rope, and then you need three metal castings. And that's for each piece of the armor. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> we are on our last night, we've got till half ten in the morning. We've got 12 hours in game time to finish this. We've got our furnace still to do and we need to melt these two to make the last little bit. Fingers crossed we can do it guys, fingers crossed. Running very low on time, <laughs> really low. Oh my god, right, we've got seven hours in game time, exactly. Can we do it guys? Seven hours in game time, this is getting close. Oh my god. We've got everything we need here, haven't we? We've got the ropes. So we've got two ropes. That. And we've got one. Okay, come on. We can do it. We can do it, can't we? We can do it. <laughs> Please. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Seven hours in game time, less than. Oh my god. Right. Half ten we've got until. <sighs> Oh my god, four hours is it going to be done? It's going to be done in time, please, 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 please don't run out of fuel. I didn't think about that. Oh my god, it's there, I thought it was going to run out of fuel. Damn, just imagine that. We got all the way till the very end. And we ran out <laughs> of the fuel for the last armour casting. Still got to make it yet. Quickly, quick, 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 quick. Oh, that was close. That was close. My God, I've never had the green line so close to the end before. We literally had three hours. <laughs> three hours, three and a bit hours to go. Jesus. 
All right, there you have it, guys. If you liked that video, and you thought it was a little bit tense at the end, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, guys, and there'll be more content just like this as well coming up for you. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.